Hi everyone, today I'll discuss a PM interview question with you. So watch the video till the very end. The question is number of trips on Uber is down by 10% and you need to find the root cause and the potential solution to solve this problem. Right. As usual, we'll start with the clarifying question so that we have a better understanding of the problem statement. The first question we should ask is, should we even worry about this drop? Because it may happen that this kind of drop is usual in some season like festive season or some seasonality when drivers are not there on the platform. So the interviewer confirmed that the seasonality is not there and this is a big drop for them. The second question which we should ask is about the number of trip itself. So is this a drop only for certain type of trips like long trip, short trip, intercity trips, like right? Because Uber has different type of trips option as well. Here the interviewer confirmed that this drop is across all type of trips on the platform, be it long, short, intercity or intracity. The third question which we should ask is about the categories. So is this the drop across all type of category available or some specific type of category like Uber Go, Uber Excel, Moto, Auto. So this drop is across all type of category. The fourth question which we should ask is about the time frame and the nature of the drop. So the drop is the gradual from the last one month and this drop is across all type of devices be it Android device or iOS device. The final question which we can ask is about the type of user geography and demography. So here the drop is across all type of users in India. I think we have got a good idea about the question. But do let me know in the comment section if some part of the question is still unclear or if we could have asked more clarifying question. It will help all of us to learn more and develop our thinking process. Now it is time to summarize whatever we have discussed till now. Number of trips on Uber has gradually reduced by 10% in India from last one month and there is no seasonality involved in this, right? And this drop is across all type of Uber categories. This is the problem statement which we have to find the root cause for and give the solution. Before jumping into diagnosing the problem, let's first understand the strategic importance of this metric. Number of Uber rides is the most critical metric for Uber. Even I think it should be the North Star metric for Uber as well. Because more number of rides indicates more money to Uber because they charge commission, more money to driver also and convenience to rider as he gets his destination, right? So this metric is sitting between all the three stakeholders who are involved in this, right? Now, how should we go about solving this problem? We will consider potential factor that can be held responsible for the drop of this category. The factor can be related to system related factor, external factor and internal factor. The system related factor can be change in metric definition, broken data pipeline for the metrics, incorrect event firing, or it can be bug introduced in the last production release. These can be some of the system related factors which can affect this metric, right? But the interviewer confirmed that none of these factors has caused this issue. Now let's dig deeper into the external factors. The first factor can be related to the competition. So do our competitor start giving some lucrative discount to the riders or some new competitor has entered into the market. But our interviewer confirmed that that is not the case in the last one month. The second factor can be related to the economic downturn. It may happen that people have started with the alternative mode of transportation or public transport like metro or like public buses instead of using the ride hailing services. But this is also not the case as no major downturn has happened from in the last month. Right. The third factor can be related to the government regulation or action related to maybe price or serviceability, but that is also not the case. The fourth factor can be related to the negative press release or some driver protest, which has affected the overall sentiment on the platform and riders are not feeling very safe for the ride hailing services and not willing to take rides. But the interviewer confirmed that that is also not the case. Can you guys come up with some more external factor which can affect this? Comment below and we'll see like who has given more number of external factor apart from this which are mentioned in this PPT. Now since external factor are not the reason, let's focus on the internal factors. Internal factor can be some company related decision or some AB test which we are running for some experiment or some for some new feature which we have recently developed. But our interviewer want us to find out what can be the potential reason. He is not giving any hint. So what we have to do is like we have to do the funnel analysis. We will explore end to end funnel journey and see some of the critical metrics in that funnel and see where can be the drop and based on that drop we will give some of the potential hypothesis to find the root cause. This is the approach we will follow. So let's look at the funnel journey. If we have intent to book a ride via Uber, we first open the app. Then we put the our destination location where we want to go. If we have multiple drops in between, we can put the destination as well. 
we can also schedule the ride at a particular time also once we have put the destination and hit the enter we got to the page where we have multiple option of services like auto moto car excel sedan right and these options are there with the price and eta we select our option and then request for a ride one thing to note here is we don't always request for a ride if eta or price is higher for our intended option then we choose to drop off right once we have requested to ride uber takes some time to connect with some driver sometimes the waiting time is very high even sometimes uber is not able to connect to the driver as well if we choose to cancel the ride because of high waiting time or wrong vehicle requested or wrong destination location we have to request again if uber connect us with some driver then we have to wait for the driver to arrive meanwhile we we also communicate with the driver for the exact location sometime what happens is that even after accepting the ride driver cancels the ride as well if uber is at your door you give the otp you go to the destination pay for the ride and rate it this is the typical user journey of a person using a uber for the ride hailing services now let's see some of the metrics in the funnel and ask the interviewer about the drop in certain metrics to build the potential hypothesis at the top of the funnel we will see daily active users users who have opened the app at least once in a day those are the daily active users then we will also see some of the sessions per user finally we would see the number of destination searches per session combining all of this will tell you if the intention of using uber has gone down or not the interviewer told us that there is a slight drop of 1 to 2% not the 10% drop which is there in the question right so we have to keep that in mind and move forward in the funnel the next set of metrics we will see are first the average number of option available for a particular destination the interviewer confirmed that that hasn't changed this is more or less the same second we will check the number of ride requested that means ctr on this these buttons right so number of ride requested the interviewer confirmed that yes they have seen a major drop in the number of ride requested so number of ride requested itself is down by 10 to 12% that means people are not requesting for the ride some of the other metrics we will see is about the average matching time split of cash versus online trip this metric hasn't changed they are in check now let's proceed further in the funnel we will check the ratio of the cancel ride versus ride requested this will tell out of the ride requested by the user how many rides are getting cancelled by them this number is also fine we will also see some of the metric type average pickup time that means once the user has connected with the driver how much time the driver is taking to come to the pickup location finally we will track the metric like out of all the rides that are requested how many of the rides are getting completed this is also one of the critical metric which we will see the interviewer says that all these metric are fine what does it mean that means that there is a problem in the top of the funnel number of ride requested by the user has dropped but once they have requested the platform behavior is more or less the same so after the user has requesting for a ride there is no major drop right post requesting the ride there is no problem i hope you are able to get this thing now we need to check why people are not requesting for the number of rides which they were doing before so this is the screen where they are requesting for a ride so what are the potential decision making factors here so the first is users are not able to find their preferred option or the eta but that should not be the case because the interviewer has told us that average number of option are more or less the same right we have already discussed this the other reason can be the mode of payment or payment option not getting selected are we running some ab experiment where we have mandated the preferred option of payment or we are taking the money upfront from the user before booking any ride the interviewer confirmed that they haven't changed anything around the payment so this is also not the reason the final reason can be related to fares have we increased the price or stopped some of the promotional discount coupon recently yes the interviewer confirmed that they are slowly removing all the coupon code and discount to improve the top line now we have find the reason why users are not requesting for a ride which they were doing before lesser number of ride requested means lesser number of ride completed also that is why the number of trips on uber has reduced by 10 10% so what we should do now the first thing we can do is like having the rider mile point to retain the user on our platform for example when user has requested for a ride and completed the trip we can give some of the ride mile points which can be redeemed in their next trip the next thing is rider pass so what we can do is like we can have the subscription pass of some price 
where user can subscribe and for entire month they will get minimum number of discount that is where user will also stick to the platform and the number of ride requested will also not gone down i hope you have learned something new from this video please subscribe to our channel if you feel like i'll meet you on to the next one till then keep learning and keep watching